Panic! Scientists believe that the Big Bang Theory is wrong. Recent photos from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed it never happened. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has released unprecedented discoveries that leave our scientists in awe. Spectacular images that give us a new perspective of the universe. But these new perspectives are also shaking the entire space industry upside down. The origin of the universe is in question, and these images might prove that the Big Bang Theory is a complete fallacy. In this video, we will break down how one genius scientist single-handedly debunked the entire Big Bang in just one scientific article. The Origin of the Universe How did the universe begin? If astronomers and physicists had a nickel every time they were asked this question, they would be crazy rich. Well, you'll get different answers depending on who you talk to. But you'll hear one common answer from most of our renowned scientists today. The universe began with the Big Bang. You might have a gist of what the Big Bang is, but what is it exactly? Why have astronomers and physicists relied on this theory for over a century? The popular Big Bang theory was officially formalized in a scientific paper in 1931 by a Belgian cosmologist and a Catholic priest, Georges Lemaitre. Lemaitre suggested that the universe itself is expanding, and it came from an infinitely dense singularity that gave birth to all things that exist in the entire cosmos. But this theory was not entirely accepted at first and received backlash because it was very exotic and a complicated way to explain the beginning of our universe. Doubts rose quickly, and some people stayed with the old steady-state theory, which states that the universe is creating matter proportional to the expansion of the universe. Other theories also originated over time, like the oscillating universe theory, which states that the universe just undergoes an endless loop of big bangs. With all these theories over the century, scientific evidence started to point towards the Big Bang. But there have still been people who dispute that the Big Bang theory is the way to explain the birth of the cosmos. Fast forward to the 21st century and the debate has been ignited once again thanks to the recent discovery of the most powerful telescope man has ever made. And panic is rising in the space community. How the James Webb Telescope sparked a heated debate. A scientist by the name of Eric Lerner alerted the entire space industry that the Webb Telescope just confirmed that the Big Bang never happened. How did the Webb Telescope disprove this popular theory? Why should we need to worry? The James Webb Telescope is a two-decade-long project which was launched into orbit in late 2021. This monumental project is being carried out by the three biggest space industries in the world, the European space industry, the Canadian space industry, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The telescope's main goal is to search the deepest parts of the universe to help science uncover the mysteries of the universe. Six months after it launched to orbit, the JWST released never-before-seen photos of a distant galaxy, SMAX 0723. But something is significantly wrong with these photos. These are not the images our scientists predicted them to be. One genius scientist noticed something bizarre, something that is challenging the core of the Big Bang Theory. Panic! Webb's first images prove the Big Bang never happened. The Big Bang Theory has become a staple of modern astronomy. Now scientists cannot ignore that the century-long belief in how the universe began may actually be wrong. Should we really panic? Well, the president and chief scientist of a research and development company, LPP Fusion, Eric Lerner, certainly thinks so. After the JWST released its first photos, including the controversial SMAX 0723, Lerner published an article pertaining to how this image proves the Big Bang never really happened. And he summarized all of it into one compelling word, panic, which is the start of his recent scientific article titled, Panic at the Discs, First Rest Frame Optical Observations of Galaxy Structure. Now, the question is, what did Lerner see in the images? What did he observe that made him realize that the JWST disproves the Big Bang? Smooth galaxies. The first argument that Lerner puts down is that the galaxies in the SMAX photo are surprisingly smooth, small, and old. Now, you're wondering, why is this a problem? What's wrong with galaxies being this way? Well, the Big Bang theory suggests that the universe is expanding, and that galaxies are continuously colliding and merging into one another. The tiny galaxies from the early days just after the Big Bang would have collided with each other and merged into larger and larger galaxies. 
In order for this to be true, the galaxy should have significantly rougher edges due to the constant collisions with other galaxies. They should have at least shown some kind of roughness in their outer regions. But to everyone's surprise, the JWST revealed that the galaxies have very smooth spiral disks and noticeable neat spirals. In fact, they are 10 times smoother than anyone predicted. Scientists are flabbergasted by this discovery. If these galaxies are so smooth, then they did not occur from the merging of galaxies. They were big to begin with, which directly defies the theory of the Big Bang. Thus, Eric Lerner suggests that all supporters of the Big Bang Theory might need to start panicking. The Big Bang Theory is a hoax, and the evidence that we will uncover in the rest of this video further solidify his argument. Some galaxies are smaller and older than the Big Bang itself. The most common idea suggested by the Big Bang Theory is that nothing existed before the Big Bang. Well, Lerner's second argument suggests that some galaxies captured by the JWST are older than the Big Bang. How is that possible? With the power that the James Webb Telescope possesses, scientists can now estimate the age of the stars through infrared. Young and hot stars are blue in color, and older, cooler stars, like our Sun, may appear yellow or red. Lerner indicates in his article that the images of JWST should see galaxies 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. But some of the galaxies have stars inside it that are a billion years old. This means the Big Bang cannot be real. Fewer galaxies near the Big Bang. The third argument Lerner presents is that at some point the JWST should see fewer galaxies as it looks further into space and back in time closer to when the Big Bang happened but the images state otherwise. The new images reveal that there are at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theorists predicted. Lerner urged that there is no way that so many humongous galaxies could have been generated in so little time. The Big Bang Theory is in jeopardy. But what are the thoughts of our scientists about this? Lerner's article is dangerously misleading. Angry scientists tell. Scientists are mad as hell. They're saying that Lerner is spreading malicious information to fraud the public. Some of them think that Lerner is just cherry-picking data to fit his hypothesis, and Lerner has been well-known in the industry as well, as he has been a serial denier of the Big Bang since the 1980s. They also say that the universe being larger than they think does not disprove the Big Bang. It is more about understanding it further. The bulk of the scientists insist that the Big Bang really happened and called this the fun part of science. Theories are not always clear-cut. We are always learning and further improving our hypotheses. Disputes about the origin of the universe are not new, and uncertainty is something we will always have to live with. A new space era is in the making, and with the James Webb Space Telescope, one thing is certain. We are getting closer and closer to the truth.